Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we're actually going to be talking about how to uh, change your own oil. I'm going to show you guys. I know it's a very simple process, uh, but I feel like there's not enough people who actually know how to change their own oil. And I figured I'd do this for you guys. I don't even think my car shouldn't even need an oil change at this point. But again, I'm going to do, I'm going to do this for you guys, show you guys how to change your own oil. And also before getting into today's video, I do just want to remind you guys we're very close to 1500 subscribers on the channel. Once we hit 1500 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away $100 worth of my mer merchandise to one subscriber and one subscriber only. So definitely go down there and subscribe. It's absolutely free and helps me out a lot. All right, guys. So before doing anything and before starting your car, for sure, you want to let it sit for some time. And the first thing you're going to try to do is locate the, uh, the dipstick here and basically take it out once, take it out once, kind of wipe it off, and then put it back in. Sorry, it's a little difficult trying to do this with the camera in my hand. And yes, if you guys haven't been subscribed to my channel, uh, I do have a, unfortunately, a V6 2005 to 09 Mustang, but now taking it out for the second time, you can see that the oil level is actually good if I bring it in the light here. So for the most part, I don't really need an oil change right now, but again, I'm basically just gonna do this for the sake of this video today and again, to show you guys. So now I'm gonna head to my local Pep Boys, get all the things that I need and bring the car back and show you guys how to change your oil. Alright guys, so now I just got back from Pep Boys. We have the oil as well as the oil filter, but uh, one problem, <laughs> my dad's Firebird is actually in the driveway, so I'm gonna start this thing up, pull this thing out, put the Mustang in, and basically get it up on ramps. Uh, quick tip, if you're doing this yourself, you can use ramps, um, a jack, uh, a lift if you have one, obviously that makes it a lot easier, but basically want the car to get raised up a little bit. Or if you have like an SUV, something like this, uh, it's a lot more easier. You can probably get underneath it yourself, especially if it's like a Wrangler or something like that. But again, for cars and for the Mustang today, we're gonna have to uh, put it on ramps. Ah, I always love starting this car. If you haven't seen it already, if you want to see a full review on this 1981 Firebird, I'll leave the link on top of the video right now. But this thing is awesome. I love this thing so much. All right, guys, so now that the Firebird is across the street and the Mustang is actually up on ramps here, and as you can see, I can very easily crawl under it. Now, I'm basically going to let it sit for like 15, 20 minutes because you don't want it to... Uh, to really work on it when it's hot for obvious reasons and plus it's already a hot ass day out but while that's happening i'm going to just go through everything that you're going to need for an oil change so first thing you're going to need uh, something to catch the old oil in also a funnel will definitely help as well to actually put the new oil into the engine uh, i'm probably just going to use this big ass green funnel um, but i just brought out a bunch of different funnels for you guys also gloves i feel like this is common sense but whenever you're working on anything that has to do with your car you can always get dirty and it involves chemicals it involves harsh things so definitely be sure to wear gloves and definitely paper towels rags or old t-shirts can definitely help along the way with any spills or anything like that now i did just want to show you guys what i had to pick up at pep boys so this is actually the recommended oil for this 4.0 v6 and you you can literally find whatever you know your manufacturer recommends basically just inside your owner's manual literally all you have to do is go inside your owner's manual read and then this is actually the oil filter for this car so we are going to change the oil and we're going to change the oil filter today guys 
And also another thing that you will find in the owner's manual is the re recommended required like amount of oil that you should use this for the 4.0 V6. In these 05 to 09 Mustangs, it's actually five quarts. It's actually five quarts. And then in the 4.6 three valve V8, it's actually six quarts. So I, so I have four more quarts of that oil in that bag right there. But now again, I'm gonna let it sit for around like 15, 20 minutes. And then we're actually going to change the oil. All right, guys, well, uh, here comes the fun part because now I'm gonna be diving underneath this car and I'm gonna try to show you guys this the uh, best I can. But right here is the actual drain plug right behind, I'm assuming, yeah, this is the cross member and then the front axle's right here. So here's the drain plug and then if you go a little bit further in there's the actual oil filter. So first, we're gonna drain the oil out. This is uh, 16 millimeters, I already uh, measured it. Then once this is completely drained, I'm gonna go in there, loosen the old filter and then put the new filter back on, close this drain up, and then actually put the new oil in. All right guys, so now I actually have a 60 millimeter socket. I left it over on my tool bench like an idiot, but <laughs> I have the pan here, whatever, the tray to kind of collect the oil. Uh, paper towels. I'm actually going to lay one out just to stand by so All right, so now I just uh, Basically just put a towel right there. So oh, I have some place to actually put the drain plug when it's actually out um, But yeah, I'm trying to do this like one-handed right now because I have his I had the camera and you know one hand and Here goes nothing All right, so I just broke it loose oil should be coming out any second going to yeah you can see it's already dripping out going to try to make this as clean as possible yeah that's not gonna happen I guess I'll just use the tool I'll screw it all right so now I think it's at the point yeah I can hand loosen it now and oh oh shit that's not what you want to do Oh my god. All right, well, yeah, I need to clean this up before that spreads. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much what happens. Obviously, there's a decent amount of oil in there. Uh, again, the car didn't need an oil change, so it wasn't like really, really low. Uh, I apologize in advance to my dad, who's probably watching this video right now. So hopefully, I know he uses this cardboard but hopefully you got more pieces of cardboard that we can lay on around the house. But yeah, let me uh, let me put the camera down real quick and uh, clean up this mess. I cleaned up the drain plug, but it's still dripping. Well, I cleaned up the drain plug and I also cleaned up this, but this is actually dripping. A little bit of oil, but it's no big deal. I'm now going to put the drain plug back in. As for at first, just you know, hand tightening it, and then actually, you know, snugging it down with the uh, with the socket. Guys, so now the drain plug is really, really snug in there. Uh, that is one very important component of this whole job because you want to make sure that's very tight and. You do want to kind of check the seal in there too, the little rubber gasket or whatever. But also you don't want to cross thread something like that. You really don't want to mess that up because if you do, uh, then that's going to be, you know, start leaking oil over time, which is a very, very bad thing. So now I have the old filter actually out. I couldn't film the process of taking it out because I really needed two hands. And as you can see, I have it kind of still draining right now but what you're going to want to do to take that old filter out is get a ratchet like this and you basically put it on here uh, it's a filter socket and it actually fits these filters as you can see and when the old filter is attached to the car that's how you kind of break it loose and that's also how i'm going to be putting this um, new filter on one thing also you want to make sure is just make sure that these filters are the same exact size and that this old one the gasket actually came off with it because sometimes the gaskets will stay on there and you really don't want to put the new one on with the old gasket on there as well and also you can even 
match up these gaskets and make sure, you know, again, that they're the same exact size. So now I'm gonna put on the new one right now. Uh, again, I'm not gonna show you guys because I'm gonna need two hands. And also I did wanna make another note. I'm gonna be heading right back to Pep Boys because I actually picked up 5W20 oil. Uh, my engine actually takes 5W30, so it's really not the end of the world. I could use this oil if I really wanted to, but for the sake of this video, I do want to make sure it's 100% perfect. And again, guys, on top of this cap right here, uh, most vehicles will actually tell you what oil to pick up. All right, so I did uh, just hand tighten the new filter on there, but just to show you guys how this kind of uh, filter socket works. That's pretty much it. I'm just tightening it down. You wanna make sure that it's snug. And again, that that, basically so that on the inside of the filter, that gasket is sitting flush with the car because if anything is gonna leak, I feel like this is obvious, but if anything's gonna leak, it's gonna be that gasket or the, the oil filter or that drain plug right there. So these are two parts that you definitely don't wanna overlook when changing your oil and changing your oil filter all right guys so now i did just get back from uh pep boys and now we do have uh five quarts of 5w30 and now we actually are going to finally put the oil in the engine obviously want to make sure the drain plug is back in it's closed it's tightened you want to make sure the oil the new oil filter is in and closed and tightened and everything is good but what i'm actually going to do first and this is just a technique that i do i'm actually just going to put two quarts in for now and then i'm not going to film it but i'm just going to wait for a couple minutes and double check the drain plug as well as the new oil filter and make sure i don't have any leaks and then i'm going to put the rest of them in probably just shy of five quarts probably like leave a little bit in that last quart and then we're gonna start the car up, take it off the ramps, check the oil level, and then I might throw in the last little bit of oil at the end. So now the Mustang is back off the ramps. I have four full quarts of the 5W30 oil in, and there's about that much left uh, from the fifth one. So I did that for a reason, because now we're basically just gonna repeat the same exact process at the beginning of the video, and we're gonna check the oil level in the car. And I have another paper towel, take it out once, wipe it off because the car was running like five minutes ago, and then put it back in and i don't know if you guys could see that but we're pretty good we're right around there uh that's where the car needs to be but it's not uh, completely fell so i'm going to top it off with that last quart of oil but that's pretty much it for today's video guys again if you haven't subscribed already definitely be sure to subscribe down below for more diy videos like this car reviews modified car reviews automotive news and a bunch of other videos but like always guys thank you for all the support and i'll see you guys in the next one